What's up guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another unboxing showcase review and I'm actually gonna be doing this one from Loose Collector. This is from his Crypt series, the Monster Hide, which is the first in the line for his Crypt series. So I'm actually excited that I did get this in. I actually did this through the Kickstarter. I actually participated in the Kickstarter and was able to get this in and extremely happy about it. Extremely happy about it. This thing is enormous. The box is huge. This thing is incredibly heavy like seriously heavy. So I'm gonna move this out of the way because, um, you know, it barely fit in the screen to begin with. But if I move this down just a bit, yeah, there you go. It is huge. Like, I cannot believe this. It was so heavy when um, I picked it up from the porch. And it was just like, you gotta be kidding me. I, I was not expecting something like this to be so heavy. Uh, but here is the back of the box. So you can see some images of the figure itself and what it could possibly come with. Uh, we do have quite um, the task to go through this thing. So uh, as you guys know, I opened the box in front of you so you know what to expect when you're opening this thing. It's because it's always pretty cool unboxing a figure. It always is one of the coolest things um, as a collector to see how it all comes with. And there, oh geez, there it is. So let's take this box away. Here is the figure itself yeah the head is actually in there um because the head's not attached you're gonna have to attach the head but here is what it looks like um on the bottom there is these hollow areas because there's, there's supposed to be the little demon child babies here that belong but that was only to like the first i want to say like first 500 backers or so or five first 300 I don't, I don't remember but I, I remember you had to have been backed it like one of the the first like day one people so uh i didn't get it but i actually had some friends that supported me and sent theirs over to me so i do have them and i will show them to you guys but here we go let's uh unbox this figure all right guys there we have it we have them unboxed right here for you so before I put the head on, let's take a look and see the type of heads that we got because both are very similar, but as you can see, you have your options to choose from. Uh, here is the bald headed version with a scar down his left eye. And that actually looks awesome. Very well done in the sculpt. I love the screaming face right here. Of course, it's hollow where you can see inside the mouth technically, but that looks great. I love this, absolutely love it. It looks so good, so, so good. The paint details all over. You can see uh, the wash in the different skin tones, like right there, so it looks incredible. Uh, and then here, with this one, full on hair. Looks awesome. Love that gritting teeth right there. I love that there's gloss in the teeth too. So you can see it shine a bit. Very nice. Incredible detail like that. And the black wash that's on the inside of the hair. Even in the eyebrows, you can see that as well. But very well done. Uh, we do have this top hat right here. Really cool. You can see the wrinkles all throughout and there is like a black wash to it. Very nice, and it's weathered. You can see some cracks going on and some folds. And it's got like a, almost like a leathery look to it. So it looks like fabric, basically. But it looks good, it looks really good. And we have these accessories here for extra hands. And that is nice. You could see that they made some uh, paint details to show some coloration in there as well and then of course in the hands like so i think that's really a, a seam line which is weird to have a seam line right there but it's on both it's more transparent on this hand right here but it looks good look at the nails and see you can see the sculpt in there it looks awesome and to be honest this is also Oh, you're gonna fall. Nope, you're not gonna fall. This is also an accessory. So this is this torn up uh, jacket right here. And look at this thing. It's enormous. But the level of detail, like so, it is uh, pliable. Um, some sharp edges, of course, right here. But 
it does its thing. It, it shows you everything of how this would be if it was torn off of him. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I actually like this. I love the paint on it. It looks great as well. Um, but let's, uh, oh, for example, there's grooves in this hat. I forgot to mention this. There's grooves in the hat, which I think identify where the front of the hat is. And you could see, yep, right here with the shorter lip over here. That's the back and then the front. So it will fit on the bald head right here and it doesn't come off. So it can, you can like lock it into place like so. Uh, can it be placed on here? Yeah, you could sit it but it's not going to do anything you're just going to have that balancing act like so on there but it looks weird it definitely looks weird if you were to do it this way so having this is very cool to put on top of this guy's head which definitely matches with the outfit as well so let's uh let's plug this head in uh i feel as if we'll use this head i like the screaming head a lot and you can see oh can see the ball definitely looks bigger <laughs> for that's for this hole but we'll we'll plant it in there i don't think i need to heat it up as much but i will try my best and i'll i'm gonna do this off camera because it's kind of hard to do this with my arms extended got it on there i didn't have to heat it up but you could basically just press nicely firmly and it will go right in there but here we go um since I already talked about the accessories, I'll just kind of put this off to the side. But this is a massive figure. It is huge and it's wonderful. It looks incredible. The sculpting details and the musculature of this guy is incredible. And I love the paint. The paint is awesome. It's not like a pale white. It's got um, a nice color to it. And even though, you know, we see all the veins and everything that's protruding out of this guy. Um, it doesn't, didn't need to be colored in any way, but I love the dark tones of this wash that's all throughout. And it looks great. It absolutely looks great. So this, oh God, this is awesome. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, this is fairly simple. Look at the musculature and everything. That's huge back. Jesus it's it's incredible now there's sculpt detail of course in the legs here because of the the uh torn up pants which are now shorts if you think of it uh and there is a cut here which the sculpt here it's just like an overlay so these uh shredded pants actually isn't like sculpted onto the leg it's actually a separate piece that's been applied on here so that's that's actually a nice attention to detail. Also more attention to detail is the joints. The joints actually are painted and they actually have sculpt in the lines, sculpted lines in here to kind of just have more detail throughout the body because they're huge. These, these joints are huge, but you know what? Because there's this paint and sculpt in there, I don't mind it so often. So that's a nice attention to detail like this right on the back here. Of his, of his legs so that looks really good and even on the the ankle so really cool uh but that's this is incredible absolutely incredible so let's go over the the <laughs> let's go over the uh, articulation on this guy all right a little bit more close up so the head because it's on a ball joint uh it's gonna go only so far but you can definitely turn and you can kind of tilt his head as well so that's actually nice. Looking up, that's as far as it's going to go. Looking down, he can absolutely look down all the way. It's funny to see like this small head with this huge mass right here, but it absolutely works for this type of a monster uh, character. Uh, we do have a diaphragm joint, which you can definitely, definitely make that range like so. You saw how far that that can really go um, forward. I'm not sure how much forward you can go, but we'll give it a shot. Whoa, there you go. That's a good range of going forward for such a big character. And then back. 
there we go that's as far back but it looks kind of funny <laughs> it definitely looks fun no it, it actually looks okay but you know what it's still pretty good it's still really really good um in terms of back uh the arms so we do have a rotating shoulder like so uh the shoulder and arm can go at the 90. it can de definitely go at the 90 and luckily with the muscle the musculature the sculpt of it gets tucked right underneath here has the upper bicep as well as a single jointed elbow like so so you can pretty much get close to a 90 degree and the wrist swivels with a horizontal joint like so so that's pretty good and that horizontal joint is on both hands as well so that's not too bad um we have a waist swivel we have legs that can go that far as well as an upper thigh cut and double jointed knees and by the way they are pinless which is very nice to see there is the range in which his legs can go all the way there um even with his feet right he can go back that far and he can go forward that much but he's got toe articulation as well which is awesome and this nice ankle pivot too so articulation what we come to find uh through loose collectors things is pretty common and basic for what he has but for this size it works extremely well and it's awesome all right i have him all dressed up and let's see he is nine and a half inches just about nine and a half inches tall all right let's just do the comparisons because i i tried to get what i can and we'll we'll see what we can do because it is quite a bit uh but first and foremost here's what i'm talking about here are the little demon babies uh that two of my friends had sent over so i got two sets which is crazy right these will freak you out which is awesome really really awesome so i'm glad i got a, <laughs> a little horde of these guys to to scare the wife you know what i mean so first marvel legends i mean grabbed mr hyde of course look at mr hyde compared to this hide figure monster monster hide we'll call him monster hide because that's what loose collector calls him but here's mr hide you could see in regards to height my goodness and here we go marvel legends newer female body newer male body you can see the height differences between this monster figure right like so even with gi joe classified series same size as marvel legends and you can see just right up to his elbow. Now Diamond Select, we have the Marvel Select Red Hulk. Definitely reaches to his size absolutely they are basically the same height from what i could yeah they're basically the same height which is incredible and here we have lexion from the animals of the warrior kingdom animal warriors of the kingdom but geez the size on this still incredible and i had to bring out thane also from animal warriors of the kingdom because thane is their larger figure in the series and it is basically, <laughs> you can see the size that Monster Hyde brings. All right, guys, there you have it. Got him back on the rotating base, but that is it for this unboxing showcase review. Absolutely love this figure. It's incredible. Sheer size of it is one of the, the selling points of this figure. It's really, really awesome to see something like this being made and thank you to loose collector this is absolutely amazing so i'm glad i was able to pick this figure up let me know your guys thoughts i would love to hear what you think of loose collector's monster hide figure uh make sure to hit that like comment and subscribe thank you all for watching the video i hope to see you soon and i hope to see you on the next hunt